King's first foot guards were sent over in 1776 to intimidate the colonists. It didn't work. And you're a musician? We are musicians, yes. And how did they fit in the foot guards? The musicians were to relay commands from the commanders so that all of the soldiers could hear it. They'd hear distinctive tunes and distinctive beatings of the drums. Oh, different, the different beats for different commands. Oh my gosh, so it was like smoke signals for sound. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And actually, it played well when there was a battlefield and a lot of smoke on the field. That's the only way the commanders could communicate through the smoke it's with the drums. I never knew that. And where are you guys from? I mean, is this like a thing that you do every year? Or do you do it all the time? Or? Well, I'm doing it for eight years. <laughs> My son's been in it eight years. Uh, we're from different parts around uh, Boston and Massachusetts. And what is the group that does this? Well, it's called the First Foot Guards. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, uh, other, there's other regiments. There's the 10th Regiment, the, uh, what is there, the 26th, I think, 24th, 23rd, the 5th, yeah, there's a bunch of them. On, on, the, on the occasion of the Bicentennial, we uh, assembled a crowd of reenactors on the Patriot side and also on the British side. Members of some of the British units over in Great Britain came over for that recreation. And on that occasion, I believe we had as many British soldiers, about 700, as part participated in the expedition out to Concord, and we had 2,000 Patriot reenactors, which was about the size of the American Army as well. So, uh, uh, you have to really appreciate history and, and have a love for it, and it's a constant learning process for us. You know. Thank you so much.